Hi my loves, welcome back to another Vlogtober weekly vlog. My classes feel really dirty, if they look really dirty I'm sorry. <laughs> I am going to head downstairs and get some food. As you can see I'm not fully made up for the day because I don't think I'm going to do anything today but plan. I want to plan meticulously this week, I want to think things through, I want to be creative, I want to start using my creative, getting my creative juices flowing again. Um, I just feel like it's time, I've been in a little bit of a slump on Instagram and all sorts recently and I really miss it and I really miss just being a little bit creative and I need to think a bit more outside the box at the minute because we are not doing a lot of trips or leaving the house a whole lot so I need to think. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today, I'm going to think but first I need some breakfast and I need a cup of tea. Um, but yes, that's the plan today. I just want to plan. I want to plan everything. I want to get on my laptop. I want to Google things. I want to look at things up. I just want to be on it today. So that's what we're going to do. I'm really hungry. I need to go. this week um, and they've got loads, oh my god so I've got lots of admin to get through today, I really want to make sure I'm well set up for the week this week, so lots of bits and bobs to get through today but yes, it should be doable but for now we're off on a journey through the It is 20 to 5, so it's getting on in the day. It's getting dark outside because that's just the time of year that we are entering. But I have moved upstairs, as you can see, um, to do a little bit on the computer, on the big computer that I couldn't do on my laptop downstairs, basically. Um, so I'm going to do some things on here. Then I'm going to clear up a little bit in here because it's a bit of a tip. Oh, I kind of want to plan my outfits for this week. Um, Yes, I'm just trying to plan everything today that trips me up later in the week so that everything can run smoothly. So um, that includes planning my outfits because I just wake up and I think I have no idea what I want to wear. But if I get into the zone, put a podcast on or something, pick some good outfits for the week, I think that will maybe work a little bit better. So let's try that. We're gonna try that. I've lit a candle, I've lit the Bereda Bohemia candle, which I got for Christmas. Um, I have been slowly working my way through my candles this year. I am actually running low on candles, if you can believe it. Um, I don't tend to light them much in summer anyway. But anyway, I've got my Bohemia candle on and I'm gonna try and relax into this work okay computer stuff is done so that means i have one last thing on my list which is like i said pick outfits and i'm gonna listen to a podcast whilst i pick my outfits and it's gonna be nice i'm looking forward to finishing the day <laughs> i looked at my list in the morning after i made it and i was like mm, that seems like a lot of stuff but we are getting through it so yes uh, last thing on the list and then I can go and eat some dinner because I am hungry always hungry
perhaps excuse my appearance <laughs> but as you can see I'm ready for bed I'm in my little eggy pajamas and uh, yes I'm ready for bed ready to um, go to sleep and just watched Edward Cezanne's whilst we had our dinner forgot to film dinner didn't I had some salmon for dinner <laughs> um, and yes watch Edward Scissorhands and now it is most definitely time for bed um, but anyway I'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday hi maths good morning it's Tuesday uh, I am up I am washed I am going to get ready in a minute um, I've just been downstairs for some porridge um, and a cup of tea but I'm going to get ready in a minute first I'm going to do a bit of clearing up which I didn't end up doing yesterday and then I'm going to get ready I want to do a beauty shot today so I have a very simple makeup in mind it's nothing spectacular really but I'm going to do that um, but yes I'll take that a little bit later um, so yeah I'm going to do a little bit of clearing up and try to wake up a little bit more <laughs> Hi, my love. So, I have finished clearing up. Obviously, I put a little bit of makeup on, looking good in bronzed. Um, ignore, ignore my scary pale lips. I am going to put my lipstick on a little bit later after I've had some lunch. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go make some lunch because I am hungry. Um, and I need to take some stuff downstairs. Now that I've done a clear up, I actually need to remove the stuff that doesn't need to be up here. I've been listening whilst I do my clear up to Akala's book, Natives, and it's just so good. Um, he just has a really fantastic way of breaking things down um, and making them sort of understandable and... Um, what's the word that I'm trying to think of? Digestible? No. Yes? I don't know, but um, it's fantastic. Really, really um, finding it very interesting so far. And just to learn a little bit more about him as well, because he's an interesting guy. So, yes, I'm listening to natives. Um, I'm learning a lot. some autumnal flowers this is not the final bouquet of the week um, for pictures but also just for life because it's nice um, obviously when you order from bloom and wild or not obviously if you didn't know they send them to you in bud so that's why it doesn't look <laughs> massively impressive but um, they will hopefully bloom and flower um, and I will We'll document that for you, but yeah, I think this vase is a bit too tall for these. I think I need something a bit shorter, but we're working with it. Um, but they're very beautiful, and we'll see how they flower. Hi, my loves. Apologies if. My lipstick looks all messed up. <laughs> I have obviously been wearing a mask not too long ago. Um, but anyway, finished our walk. It was very damp, very, very damp. And then went home and um, had a quick snack. And then I am now in the car waiting for my mum because I took her to a late appointment. So, yes, um, that's what we're doing now. It is raining a lot and um, I'm probably going to just read my book in here for a little while. Hoping to finish The Haunting of Hill House today. Yeah, haven't got too long left. Haven't found it massively scary so far. I don't know if um, I shouldn't have been expecting it to be very scary. 
but I'm not finding it very scary so far. Um, but we will see. I'm like 100 and, oh, 150 pages in and there's only 240 pages. So I'm waiting for my scares. Hi my loves. Please excuse if my lipstick is everywhere. It is everywhere. Um, because I had a mask on, then I was eating, but just obviously came home, had some pasta, and now I'm going to get ready for bed at the late, late time of 20 to 10, <laughs> because that's just where I am in my life journey. Um, yes, and I'm going to finish the Haunting Mill house, I think, in bed. I've only got about 30 pages left, I think. Um... Did I have anything else to update? Oh yeah, obviously watched Bake Off, which I very much enjoyed. Um, I think that's it, so I'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday. I think we're going to have do a few pictures and stuff tomorrow, so nothing crazy, but yes. See you then. Hi Mavs, good morning. Actually it's not morning anymore, and it's getting on in the day, and I realised I hadn't said hello to you yet, but hello, it is Wednesday. Um, went for a walk this morning and actually the sun was out and it was very pleasant um, and much less damp than yesterday's walk. I'm trying to divorce my walks a little bit from um, taking pictures or having to look nice in any way um, and just making sure I get out of the house and do them because yes I need the daily exercise, um, I don't really want to run at the moment uh, I don't really like running in London in general, um, which is something I have discovered. So, yes. So, I'm on the walking hype. Obviously, it's a little bit more time consuming than something like running, which is higher impact. It's going to give you the exercise um, in a much shorter space of time. So, obviously, on my walks, I'm trying to do at least an hour, up to an hour and a half, um, more like an hour and a half which is time consuming, you know, just get some comfy shoes on, shoes I can walk properly in for a long period of time and um, just get moving, get my body moving. Um, I'm hoping maybe to start a little bit of um, kind of not really weights because I don't have any weights <laughs> at home, but um, like resistance band training here at home as well. I'm terrible at home workouts. I find it really, really hard to motivate myself, but I might do that at some point this week as well. Just need to get back into the exercise zone a little bit more. As you know, before COVID happened, I was in the gym six, seven times a week or doing some form of exercise six, seven times a week. So it is a big change. And I'm trying to make sure I stay active. It's good for the body and it's good for the mind, more importantly. So anyway, headed out on our walk this morning, which was nice. Had a bit of breakfast before, and then I had lunch after. So, um, yes, yes, didn't get out very early this morning. I was supposed to be out earlier than I was. Um, but you know, life happens. So anyway, I'm gonna put some makeup on now, because yes, I have a few pictures I wanna take today. Um, Zach's out running some errands, so whilst he is doing that, I'm going to put my makeup on and get ready and try and make myself look a little bit more presentable. Still listening to Natives, still very much enjoying it. Um, yes, I think it's probably one of my favourite audiobooks that I have listened to this year, maybe ever. Um, I'm so picky with my audiobooks. Um, but I definitely think the non-fiction vibe is the better way to go for me. I definitely think... For me, I want to listen to non-fiction, not fiction, which I know is a bit odd. I feel like a lot of people enjoy fiction audiobooks, but yeah. Anyway, I am enjoying the non-fiction and I'm particularly um, appreciating this. So I'm going to keep listening to that, get ready for the day, basically. Hi, good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. I realised that I did not vlog that much at all yesterday. Just took a bunch of pictures basically after I filmed that little section and then did some emails and basically there was nothing to report. So yes, and then I had some dinner. So anyway, I'm back today. It's Thursday. Today we're having a bit more of a chill day. Uh, I'm going to go for a walk at some point a bit later on I think. Oh yes, I'm going to catch up on some of my reading because I haven't really started Titus Grome yet 
and I want to read four books this week and that is only the second book of the week so I want to catch up on my reading and yeah we're just gonna have a bit, a bit more of a chill day but whilst we're here I was thinking the other day of a book and I thought I swear I was supposed to put that in my October recommendations video and then I never did and then I realized there are a few things on my list, on my original list for my October recommendations that did not make it into that video for whatever reason. I just did not pull the book off the shelves even though it was on my list. So I'm gonna run through some of them. Um, first of all, ow, ow, motherfucker. First of all, how could I have forgotten the Brontes? How were they not in that video? Um, this is my copy of Wuthering Heights and I don't know where my Jane Eyre is. I think I had one of my mum's old copies and I just don't know where it is. But anyway, Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre, kind of essential to this time of year. I have not read Wuthering Heights for a long time. I think I've read Jane Eyre at least twice because I've done it separately at school twice. And I'm sure many of you have read it at school as well. But I do really, really love the Brontes. I love how dramatic they are. I personally, I haven't read any Austen for years, but I personally am more of a Brontes girl than an Austen girl. You can be both. But um, yes, I definitely prefer that sort of gothic, windswept sort of vibe that you get with the Brontes. Um, Jane Eyre, obviously about a kind of plain looking girl. It's a story of her life, going to boarding school. Um, marrying a man, discovering some things up with that man, um, or rather with his household, and Wuthering Heights I remember less of, but obviously it's got Heathcliff in it, um, and it's set on the heaths um, and the moors, and it's very autumnal I remember from reading it. So yes, obviously the Brontes, and uh, the fact that I said that it was a master list and then didn't have them on there is really really bad. Anyway, the other book I really meant to mention um, was Poor Things by Alistair Gray. Is it Poor Things? Now I'm confused. Yes, it is Poor Things. I'm getting confused between his books. It is Poor Things I think. This one is based on Frankenstein but it's about a woman. If you don't know Alistair Gray he is a very famous Scottish author. He writes very weird meta crazy fiction, um, there's always illustrations and all sorts going on. Um, this one has some great illustrations which he does himself or did himself. Yes, it's very kind of postmodern but also quite fun and um, yeah it's based on Frankenstein and I feel like if you want a good Frankenstein um, inspired book but one that's also quite interesting in lots and lots and lots of ways then um, this would be a really great book to read. Um, it's set in Scotland, I'm just trying to remember it really. Late Victorian Glasgow. So yes, it's a good book for this time of year. I always find Alistair Gray like weirdly similar to Jeff Vandermeer, even though they are very different, but also in their sort of playfulness, um, especially when I'm thinking of City of Saints and Mad Men specifically, if you liked that book and you've read that book then you might like Alistair Gray, he's also weird um, and you know stuff's happening basically, stuff is happening. So yes, I don't think I explained any of those books well but I just wanted to mention them because I completely forgot to do so in my October book TBR and recommendations video. Also my copy of The Shining arrived, here it is, I ordered this a few weeks ago now and I actually ordered a different copy. I ordered the silver copy which shines but I've ended up with this yellow one which was definitely brought out um, to go with the film or just after the film came out because it's got little like um, pictures of the film in there and um, it's quite a cool copy so I'm not too mad I was a bit mad because I was like this is not what I ordered and that's kind of bad form when you're buying used books you're ordering a specific edition but it's kind of cool and it's got yellow pages that match the cover and uh, yeah 
it's a great copy, so I'm not too mad. But anyway, um, so that arrived. Anyway, my loves, I'm gonna read a bit of Titus Grown, I think, and then maybe have some lunch, and then that, read some more, I think, is the plan, and then maybe go for a walk. There were some developments yesterday, which I did not film. Look how cute it looks. May have gone a little bit overboard now, but doesn't it look nice? Oh yes, yeah nice. So I bought these leaves, um, they are not real leaves, from Etsy, but they actually turned up in an Amazon package, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. But, sorry Zach's fiddling with the lights. <laughs> and I also got some big pillar candles, and then I think I showed you the flowers already. We haven't lit the candles yet, I think that's for a later date. But how nice does it look? We had just a few leftover leaves as well. Just a few. Hi my loves, it is Monday today. Um, I didn't vlog Friday through Sunday. Just, you know, life getting in the way a little bit. Things happening behind the scenes. <laughs> um, so yes, I didn't vlog over the weekend, but I did on Friday go and get my nails done with Indy. I'll show you hers. Um, she's got some flames, but I have got these, which are very, very cool. Hmm. <laughs> We're not focusing. Here we go. Sort of. No? Yes? They're like smoky black with little gold stickers and they're so cool. I love them. Um, and we took the length down a little bit as well because they were getting extremely long. Went to see Priya for that. Um, love her. We'll link her up down below as always. Um, but yes, Indy and I went to do that. So I'm probably going to vlog today because I don't know how much footage there is of last week. And then... We can start next week's vlog tomorrow. Um, so yes, this is my comfy outfit for the day. I feel like I should start showing you my comfy outfits because there's a lot more of them than there is outside outfits. But this is what we're working with today. I've got this super old hoodie. It's a men's hoodie, I think, from ages ago um, that I got from Flat Spot, I think, or oh, don't know. Um, got these trousers on. Not sure where these are from, my mum gave me these. I'll look at the label later on. White company socks, very cosy, comfy for the day. My Oliver People's glasses. So yes, anywho, I'm gonna head downstairs, get a little bit of breakfast, start planning. You guys know the drill for Mondays. Hi my love, so I have been planning this morning saw me have my porridge, then I had lunch, may have ordered myself a little Subway because it's food shop day and it has not arrived yet, so there was nothing in the house, so I used that as an excuse to order myself a lunch. And now I'm going to do my usual, well my new usual, which is do a little bit of a clean up in here and also pick some outfits for this week, for pictures this week. And loves. Excuse my hair. Um, I took it out of my bun because it was hurting my head and it looks all over the place and weird. Anyway, <laughs> um, I finished up for the day, did my clearing up, did my outfit planning, um, managed to plan one extra outfit, which is always a positive. And I'm going to do a little bit of reading, not sure how far I'll get tonight because it's already getting late in the day really. And like I've said before, when it comes to the evening, I'm kind of just chilling out with family, we're generally watching something, etc, etc. But anyway, I've been very, very slowly dipping in to Titus Grown from the Gormenghast Trilogy by Mervyn Peake. So yeah, I wasn't up to much reading on the weekend, so I did not get very far. I was supposed to read four books last week, and I read a grand total of one. <laughs> and I didn't get very far with Titus Grown at all. So that just happens sometimes. So it's looking less likely that I'm gonna get through everything on my October TBR now, but I really, really wanna get to as much of it as possible, especially because I now also have a list of books that I want to read before the end of the year that are in addition to these books. So um, yes, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I doubt I will get through it all to be honest. Um, particularly because I picked this because it's absolutely enormous but even though I have not got very far from through it I am really really loving um, Mervyn Peake's writing it's not going to be for everyone but it's just so visually beautiful well, not beautiful because it's kind of 
grotesque a lot of the time but it's so visually impactful um and so octobery it's about this sort of ancient family living in this ancient rundown castle full of all sorts of weird characters um it's kind of like you can see the influence of this in lots of things the weirdness of the characters does remind me of sort of tim burton films that sort of thing yes they're very odd and very um visually striking and yeah i'm really really enjoying it so far and it's actually nice to spend a little bit more time with it even though it's taking me a while to read it which is obviously not ideal for other books but i definitely think it's worth Kind of taking my time with it a little bit. What I wanted to do really was read one of these Gorman Glass books in the remaining three weeks of October. Of course that's not going to happen now because we are in the last two weeks of October somehow. But anyway I was going to sort of take breaks between each one because it is a big tome this trilogy. Really really liking the style. Everyone compares this to Lord of the Rings because it's sort of contemporaneous. Um, even though they are so so different because that apparently um actual fantasy or like magical realism only turns up in the final book in this trilogy apart from that it's actually more just about weirdness and the visuals um so although it's typically thought of as a fantasy it's not really super fantastical in terms of like a magic system or anything like that but anyway or like different beings or whatever but anyway so Lord of the Rings is obviously quite high fantasy is that what you call it oh god now I'm gonna get worried that I'm gonna get told off by the genre police yes epic high fantasy good <laughs> I'm glad I know what I'm talking about and it's very yeah it's very sort of they go on a journey there's a very strong storyline this one is much more descriptive, it's a completely different setting, it stays in one place, it's about one family. Um, yeah, they're so different. One, this one's super gothic, that one is all its own sort of high fantasy thing. Um, I have read Lord of the Rings a long, long time ago. Well, not a long, long time ago, but about seven, eight years ago now. And I remember thinking that it was good, but it wasn't amazing. And I definitely think that I am on the uh, the peak side of the fence if we are going to compare the two because I do think this one in terms of its writing is just superior. Um, <laughs> but yes, I'm really really liking it even though I have not made much progress with it is what I wanted to say. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of reading and um, we're going to have some dinner in a couple of hours. Dinner is served having a Thai dish tonight and it's very delicious. So here I am in my dark dark room ready for bed now. Cannot wait. Um, hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you next week. Bye!